This is Loopline, and in this video I want to cover the actual link checker. If you watched the poster video, we had 622 websites that we posted to successfully, so now we want to check to see how many of those links are actually live. And there's a few things to note with the link checker. Obviously the first thing would be the connections, and for the link checker it happens to be on 40. That's fine for the connection I'm on. Again, there's a timeout option, which is I leave it the default. You can change to whatever you like nothing under the more harvester settings and under the other tab there is again the max page size link checker filter so you can set it to stop loading a page when it gets to x megabytes in size i have it set to 50 you can set this to whatever works for you and then under actual proxies if you use proxies for link checking i mean if you leave the checkbox checked here it will use proxies so I don't like to use proxies for link checking. All you're doing is loading a page. You're not submitting anything. And unless you are only link checking like one domain, if you have one domain and you want to run a bunch of threads on it, then you're going to want to use proxies if I was link checking like 100 Facebook pages or 1,000 Twitter pages or something like that because the end site is going to block your IP if you run a ton of connections from one IP address. Whereas if you use proxies, then it's going to be using all the different, in this case, 50 proxies, and I can get 50 different connections from 50 IPs, and that looks very normal, and they're not going to, you know, ban that sort of thing. But that's not the case here for me, because I just have a smorgasbord of random domains here, so I'm not going to use proxies. And I recommend that unless you need to use proxies, don't use proxies, because it will slow down your link checker, it'll skew results, you'll miss good links, because when a proxy fails, it'll report it as a link not found, and that may not necessarily be the case. We're going to click the Check Links button. We'll see everything gray out except for the blogs list here and the actual list of websites. In our poster video, we used this website here, just a generic website, and then we had our entire 1400 list that we posted to. I'm going to export the successful, or rather I already did, and so I'm going to load those back in just so that we're only working with the successful links here. And I'm going to go ahead here and pick up my successful file from my posting folder and hit the start link checker button. And then I'm going to hit start check here in a second. Before we do that, again, we can talk about proxies or proxy options rather. This check based on domains is pretty handy. Right now, I have it set up to do this entire URL. If I want to click that check based on domains, it'll check for any link from any page on this entire domain. So it could be page 2.htm, it could be page 2.php, it could be just the domain name itself, it could be anything, any page on that particular domain. So if you happen to own the domain that you're building and checking links on, that's a great option. If you're trying to build links for like a Facebook page, then it's going to find any Facebook page or any YouTube URL that is on that page, whether it's yours or not, and so that would not be something that you want to check. And then we have some export options when we're done. We'll talk about that. I'm just going to go ahead and start the link checker and let it run. We'll notice some status items down here, how many are found, and the actual URLs loaded. And we can see not a lot of them are found so far. I'm going to let that finish, pause the video, and we'll come back. And it looks like no links were found. When I harvested the 1400 URLs, I had it set to pull only the first 75 results, and I was using very basic keywords and the first 75 results in a search engine for a basic keyword like car and stuff like that is probably not going to be places that are going to have auto approved links so what i wound up with was 1400 urls from basic keywords from major players websites that don't have auto approved links so all those 622 successful ones from the poster all went to moderation and i have no live links from that particular run that's not uncommon and that's to be expected but let me load up one here and run the link checker so you can see what it looks like when the link checker actually finds links so i went ahead and loaded up a new list here and let's just start the link checker and let it run through here and find some results see our url here and then our anchor text was our random names um, we could have used the link lock feature to lock a particular anchor to a particular URL. And you can see the found links down here and the status and that sort of thing. So I won't go through all of these, but you can see a lot of links found. Um, this is an actual auto approve heavy list. And so then when I get done, I have the option to export found links, append found links. I can export not found and then export them as Excel and CSV and all that sort of thing. So that is how the link checker in Scrapebox version 2.0 works.